So the book comes out, and like I said, the, the stuff that I'd done before had been pretty roundly, favorably reviewed, but this one was about 50-50. And the people who liked the book loved it. And the people who hated the book <laughs> hated me. And it was, it was, there was some really interesting response. And I thought, I, that's the one time in my life that, that I, had, I had some doubt. And the doubt was, since I hadn't been a voracious reader when I was a kid, and since I was still catching up, I thought, I wonder if I crossed some artistic line that I wasn't supposed to cross. I mean, I wonder if there really is some, some thing here that I'm not supposed to do. Well, I'm down in Houston, Texas, and I'm, I'm do, I'm, I'm supposed, I went down there for a week, and I was supposed to do four days in Houston, then I was going to drive up to Tyler. And I'm, I'm visiting all these huge schools in Texas, in Houston, because part of the deal with, with Houston, or with Texas schools is nobody ever like divides the school and makes it two schools because it messes up the football team. And football is like religion in Texas, so the school just gets getting bigger and bigger. So I'm at this high school, there are 4,500 kids in a high school and it's only it's like railroad tracks coming together. And I'm doing, I do a talk and it, it's in, in the auditorium, and there are probably 1,500 kids in there. And I'm signing books afterwards and, you know, McDonald's bags and whatever it is that anybody brings. I signed some kid's government book. <laughs> he said, sign my government book. And I thought, I'm leaving. So I signed it. But there's a girl back here and she's just kind of waiting. And I know she's waiting to talk to me because I can feel her back there. So, and she's not going to talk to me while anybody's still around. So I get, I get the book signed. And she steps up when everybody's gone and she said, um, I don't have any questions or anything, but I just wanted you to know that when I read Chinese Handcuffs, I thought you knew me. And the second I, she said it, I thought she had the same connection to that girl in my book that I had with Scout. You know, there were pieces of her life. And she said, I'm 17 years old. I'm going to graduate in three months. And I never knew anybody knew what my life was like. And she's pretty funny. She said, and if some old guy in Washington knows it, there have to be other people too. And I said, and she was really smart. She knew I was a mandatory reporter. She wouldn't, she wouldn't tell me her, her, her last name or anything. We talk about it a little while, and, and I'm kind of desperate. I don't know what to do about it other than just listen. And I get ready to go, and she said, so what do I do now? She said, you're a therapist, and I could be a client, but you live in Washington, and I live in Texas. And out of desperation, I said, I said who gave you the book? And she said, the school librarian. And I said, well, did she give it to everybody or did she just give it to you? She said, I think she just gave it to me. And I said, I go with the school librarian. Six months later, graduation happens. I get two emails. We're just in the, in the front end of emails. And she says, uh, I, I told the librarian and we're going for help. Now, I don't know how it ends. You know, I mean, there are a lot of things that have to happen to make that a successful thing. You've got to find a good therapist. You've got to be able to, you know, you've got to be able to pull it off. But what, the thing that I knew, the thing that, that came to me, the two things that came to me is, number one, the second she felt like she wasn't alone, there was a huge relief. And then she found somebody that connected to it, and we can go look for help. So I got a better chance than I did. All of a sudden, I don't care what the, what the, what the, uh, what the critics say. 